You know by now all the flexibility and planning that we put in place to deal with the storm just wasn't enough. A light at the end of the tunnel after a week long breakdown for Southwest Airlines. First it was weather, then a lack of staff. Also outdated systems and pileups of lost baggage. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. And I'm Elise Haas in for Liz. Southwest announced today will be the last day for those mass cancellations. Our Jenny Young has stayed on the story all week long, digging into failed efforts to hold the airline accountable. So many people have been delayed, been canceled. It's happened to me several times this summer. And uh, the, the, the fact is they need to be ready to service the tickets that they're selling. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg appearing on a late night talk show three months ago where he talked about keeping airlines accountable. I think it's going to get better by the holidays. We're really pressing the airlines to deliver better service. Southwest Airlines CEO apologizing yesterday for the thousands of canceled and delayed flights that ruined holiday plans for countless people, leaving travelers still stranded across the country. Today alone, Southwest canceled 20 flights in and out of Portland. We're doing everything we can to return to a normal operation. And please also hear that I'm truly sorry. While the airline initially blamed the cancellations on weather, Coin6 spoke to Southwest employees and union leaders this week who say outdated technology systems played the biggest role. In an update posted on their website today, the airline saying, quote, we have much work ahead of us, including investing in new solutions to manage wide scale disruptions. In my search for answers, I found this letter from a group of state attorneys general, including Oregon and Washington, sent to congressional leaders back in the summer. It says the Department of Transportation failed to hold airlines accountable after thousands of customer complaints over the last few years. Then I came across a second letter, also signed by the Oregon and Washington Attorneys General. This one sent just two weeks ago and addressed directly to Secretary Buttigieg. It thanked the secretary for some of his work addressing the issues, but said the Department of Transportation should implement more changes. Jenny Young, Coin6 News. And we've posted a statement from Oregon Attorney General Rosenblum in our story online. You'll also find a letter... Secretary Buttigieg sent to Southwest CEO. That's all within our article.